Hey y'all, it's Sarah, and I wanted to share something that my husband got for me. Um, so I don't typically play with dolls. However, I saw this in the store. I didn't know he got it for me. I saw this in the store, and I saw all the little craft supplies in this one, and just kind of fell in love with all the little components. The doll is precious. And I'm sure I will find someone that will enjoy her. But I want to look at all the little components in here. So I thought I would share what all is in this thing. Okay, so I got her out of her box. By the way, the box is really cool. And I am definitely taking the, um, the heavy plastic off the front of it for crafting. But the box itself is made out of a really cool cardboard that if you're into miniatures i feel like you could use it for a lot of things it's really sturdy so let's dive in here and look what we've got and i think everything is attached and i don't know how to do this without making a lot of noise so i've started snipping away because everything is um definitely attached to the plastic like i said i'm not really a doll person but look how pretty this is Look how cute she is. I'm going to put her to the side. I'm going to find her a friend. But. Let's start pulling some things out. So first we have the little bar stool chair. Look how cute that is. And let's see what else can be snipped out easy it's got fabrics like little bolts of fabrics here um mostly so you can make the little dresses and things like that and i saw the back of it it's pretty cute the way they set that up where you could make little outfits on your mannequin just by plugging it in place i don't intend on doing any of that um i'm going to turn some of these components a little more realistic and let's see if I can do this without completely demolishing anything. No, we're still attached somewhere. So I figured out it was a little easier to go ahead and dismantle the box and flatten it out so I could get to some of the attachment points and even see where they're at because they use um, like little plastic bands. So here's where I'm at. One of the things I did bust loose was... Um, the little dress mannequin and the reason I said I thought that was this was kind of cool is they made it so you could make little dresses and outfits um, this is rubbery right here so you can like tuck the fabrics in without having to sew and those little points are like plug-in points from what I can tell for uh, these little things right here which, just looking at those, since I don't intend on using this that way, odds are those will be turned into um, little nail polish bottles is what they look like to me. So, that's a whole different accessory. Um, there's some really cute fabric there, too. So, the mannequin actually has, like, rolling wheels. Look how cute that is. That is so cute. I'm going to set that to the side. Look, it comes with a measuring tape, like a flexible measuring tape. That's pretty cute, too. I'm trying not to lose any components here. So I think I might have gotten all the... Nope, I've got to go through the fabric, too. So I'm going to be really careful to snip all those off. They absolutely have it super secure in here. Oh, look, they're... Oh, I like that they did that, at least for now, until I decide I want to use these for something. They're all bundled really nicely. Oop. I'm going to put this to the side. I'm so excited to pull these things out. They're a little large scale as far as um, the chair and this desk most likely are all going to be a little larger than the scale i work at even though i'm using 
uh, fashion doll size houses. I work at a slightly smaller scale so I can fit more furniture in there because I'm not using it for dolls so I don't need it to be quite as large. But I am going to look at this and see if I can adjust it because it's a really cool drafting table type desk. And oh, look at the marble top on it. Ooh. Guys, I'll be doing a video very soon on how to get like a marble look on your countertops. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. And, oh my goodness, it's adjustable. Like, it's literally adjustable. So you can flatten it or use it as a drafting table. My goodness, I love that. I definitely am hoping I can figure out how to adjust it and tweak it. Um, and try to get that to work. I'm going to set my little desk here to the side. And I'm super excited about this little piece. Let me pull it out. Oh, I guess the whole thing has to come up. Let's grab some scissors and make this a little easier. If you're getting this for one of your kids, they are definitely going to need your help ripping everything out. So, I suspect, without looking at the directions that came with it, that this little thing right here um, is to use with this to help poke in your fabric and get it stuck in these little position points. I'm going to assume that's what it is, although you could definitely turn it into like a little handheld mirror. It'd be pretty cute. So let's get in here to this right here. Well, I like these little, these little images. Look, they did them as individual so you can have a little inspiration hanging up. How cute is that? That's out of a pretty decent um, cardstock chipboard type material. It's pretty stiff. So those are cute. I did tear up the other ones, but they were all connected to each other. Um, the ones that were covering the base. I did kind of tear those trying to get it loose. So let's get to this. Oh my goodness, it's iridescent. I did not realize that. It's actually hard plastic. Um, I tried to order one of these type cutting pads off of Timu. And it looked really cute in the photos. I was fairly disappointed. Um, it was actually felt instead of any kind of plastic or something like that. It was just crafting felt. So I was a little disappointed. But this one's actually hard plastic. I'm curious if I can do something about where it says Rainbow Ha. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's iridescent. It's so pretty. It sparkles under there. That's a really nice little cutting mat there. Okay, let's get into this exciting area up here. I wanted the tiny craft supplies. I've made some of my own. However, the markers and the paint brushes... And they were just all too cute, and I was fascinated with it. I certainly didn't know he was going to order it for me. But let me try to get this open. So I tried pretty hard to get this out without completely destroying the box. Because I wanted to share, if you took the time, I mean, everything is really, really secure. Um, and it's super taped on the back sides of all the things. But if you were to take your time and really remove all these... You'd end up with a really cute background just from the box. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's awful cute. I was trying not to, to um, destroy too much of it, but I did kind of make a little mess. So let's look at the little things inside of here. And these are super secure as well. If you were worried about whether or not this would get to you in decent shape, it absolutely is going to. They did a bang up job packing this. Okay, let's see if I can get it open without everything flying all over the place. Oh, it is taped down. It is glued down. I may have to do this off camera because it's going to be fairly loud, I think. 
Okay, so I busted into it. Um, I did find this piece in there, and I'm pretty sure this is probably um, the stand for, what is her name? Skylar Bradshaw for the doll. So, I got some of this broken loose. Look how cute that plant is. Isn't that cute? And the iron has broken loose. That is super cute. I will likely repaint some of these things or um, add a little bit different coloring. Like, I might turn that silver and black just to match my houses. So, let's take it a little further. Look how cute this is. Look, it's even got the little, the little slot for sipping. Does it come off? Does the lid come off? It twists around and feels like it might come off, but I'm afraid to break it. But look how cute that is. And I'm thinking with just like a little craft paper card stock, you could do like a little brown wrapper around that and make it super cute if you wanted to hide the rainbow ha part. One thing about a lot of these paints, if you're not aware, a lot of these can be removed with really good acetone. Not the cheap stuff. It's got to be 100% acetone. But a lot of times you can rub that paint straight off unless it was glazed into it and then you can't get it off so this looks like a tiny rainbow pin cushion that's pretty cute that would make really cute St. Patrick's decor if you were so inclined to decorate for every season I think I'm skipping St. Patrick's and going straight to spring slash Easter but it would be cute for that there is a sewing machine. Look how cute that is. These all have like a, it's hard to tell on camera. They have like an iridescent sheen to them. Like it's like a pearless type sheen to it. So there's my little sewing machine. Let's see what else I can break loose here. And... Like I said, I'm pretty sure just by looking at the box that these are actually pegs for the mannequin to hold the fabric. And let's just see. I'm pretty sure that's what they're for. However, I think those would be absolute cute little bottles since I'm not going to be making any costumes with mine. Let's get into this next row. These little shelves are super cute the way they did them. These little mock shelves in here as I'm destroying it. But they're super cute how they did that. Oh my goodness, I got to the markers. And I'll zoom in a little closer in just a second as I pull some of these out so you can really see how cute they are. I have... Pens and markers that look just like these, like I have collections. I'm not sure if you can see any of my background, but I should have pulled them out so I could set them side by side. Look how cute these are. And I've made my share of pens and markers with toothpicks, and um, I use some coated wire for a little bit thicker marker shapes. However, these are super adorable. Look at these scissors. Wait, do they move? Oh, they move. Guys, they move. That's so cute. Oh, my goodness. Who do both fair move? They both do. That is too cute. I thought they were just hard, solid plastic, and then I recognized that it actually had hinges in it. So, I'm going to go ahead and bust this part all loose, and then we can look at them a little closer. Oh my goodness, is there a, there is a sketchbook in here. I didn't even realize that was what was there. Oh, it's a watercolor. You can, it's like the old school coloring books or paint books that we had as a kid that you just use water and the color would show up. Oh, don't, don't go anywhere, anybody. Okay, I think the rest of that is, by the way, I save some things like this, like I look and see, is is it a reusable form? 
and you can use things like this like as a mold or um, a lot of times you can use them for bowls or things like that I also use them as uh, when I have a good small square one I use them for um, things like trays like I might would use them to hold markers in a tray so let's get a little closer to these okay now we're a little closer so you can see some details here. And some of these things are still taped together. So first there is a painter's palette and there is actually some dimension to that paint. For me, I will likely come back in because I still have my old school um, craft supplies and things like that around here. I have a lot of puffy paint or um, dimensional paint in my craft stash, I will probably add a little dimensional paint on top of those colors and really make it look like there's paint sitting up. It's got um, some handles on the back, I guess, so she can hold it. However, for things like this, because I'm altering it for a dollhouse, my husband got me some new little clippers and they're super cute. I don't know what these particular this particular style is called, but I have one style that really looks like an angry lizard like it's got the puffy things that lizard have um, around the edge of it and then now there's this one that looks like an angry bird to me so now these are my angry bird snips and i love look how flat that is i'll ask him about these but i'll let you see the brand um a lot of times i do stuff like this with nail clippers so you can get really close but I'm just going to remove that and typically I take a little nail file and just file that down and I use um, a fine grit so it doesn't scratch the surface too much. But that is pretty cute. Let's see. Look at the paintbrush. I'm going to do the same thing on the paintbrush. They all have the little things here for her to hold on to them. Um, let's see. Let's see how my... My new little angry bird clippers do here. I find the right angle. Try to get pretty flush. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh my goodness. I mean, it flushed right against there. And I'll just need to touch up a little bit right there. Look how cute that paintbrush is. Same with this one. There's two different sizes. I'm going to go ahead and clip his off too. And I have arm and hand issues. You saw how easy I was able to squeeze those through that plastic. So there's two cute little brushes. Oh, by the way, there's this little container. And I wish I'd have brought the one I just made. They're going to be such a cute little match. I may grab it in just a moment to show you. But they've got this little container to put things in. So that's pretty cute. Um, a pencil, pen, one of those things. But I'm going to go ahead and take this part off. And there's that. These paints are so cute. Um, it says rainbow number 10 artist color. And if I did not have my Good Cheater readers on, there was no way I was telling you that. And they're all number different. This one is, the purple is number 34. So they all have different numbers. These are really cute paints. These are large enough that um, I have a spot in my mini craft room that would be cute to have them hanging. I don't know if you've ever seen how some artists will hang their little tubes. So we've got, I mean, if I'm going to do it, I might as well set these in rainbow order. They are so cute. And they really do. They look completely clamped off at the bottom. That's so cute. So you've got red, orange, yellow, green, purple, and white. 
pretty much make any color you need to out of those. Let's look and see. I'm going to set that one over there. I want to check out what this guy is. So it says reveal with water. I can faintly see the image under there. And I mean, it's ever so faint. But this is super cool. This hinged book is super cool. This honestly, if you're looking for pieces to convert to other things, you could make the coolest laptop out of this. And that may be something I consider doing rather than um, just using this as a an art palette and doing the water. I may try to find um, a way to make this a cute little iridescent. Oh, see this one, you can see the iridescence in it. Um, I'm going to try to make this a cute little laptop, I think. Look at that. It's just about, um, just about right for my space. So let's look at these little tiny markers. I'm trying to see if I have any tweezers close by to get it really close to the camera without my big fingers in the way. Can you see the detail? Look, look it's got a little tiny lid. That is so stinking cute. So there's two different kinds. There's this kind that has um, the little notched lids. These remind me a lot of um, like the Paper Mate flares is what it kind of looks like to me. So there's five colors of each one. It's a pretty good little collection. Those are adorable, guys. They're tiny. They're super tiny. I'm going to see if I can drop them down in my little jar here. Oh, my gracious. That is so cute. I am far too old for this. This goes to show I did not get um, enough childhood, apparently. I was an outdoor kid, so I didn't get to play with a lot of things like this. I was a very rural outdoor kid. So here's the other set of markers. I don't know if they're going to fit in that little cup. I don't want to get them wedged in there. And I actually have a set really similar to this. I have a set of highlighters really similar to this. These are almost like, um, um, I don't know how many sides that has on it. They're like a hexagonal marker and I actually have a cute set so close to that so let's look at these scissors again I cannot get over the fact that they actually if I was coordinated enough I would try to see if by chance they'd actually cut into some paper since the blades do um hit each other even plastic kinder cuts can cut paper I'd be curious if these could so you got a pointy silver pair and then the rounded out gold pair, which I guess is her fabric scissor. So we should probably not touch this with paper. We should not try that. It never goes well. Um, but we've got the fabrics. I wanted to bring those over here. I don't know how much fabrics on the, each one of these rolls, but you can kind of see the thickness. No idea what this one says. Um... Magic, rainbow, sparkle. I think it just repeats. Um, feels like there may be cardboard inside, like an actual bolt of fabric. Let's see. Yep, there's cardboard inside, like an actual bolt of fabric. Uh, this one, because they had it on the mannequin, they did like a little slip stitch on it. Just nothing but a little snip to separate it. But... This is a really pretty little fabric here. It's very delicate. I don't know if you can see that. It's very sheer and delicate. It's actually, I'm really surprised that uh, something like this, the ends aren't frayed or anything, but look how nice that is. There is a, a lavender satin. Um, this mint color looks fairly sheer like this red one. There's this dark green one with some kind of, pattern to it but I can't really tell um looks like maybe there's some little stars on that and then something else I can't really make it out 
and just this small swatch. I think there's some RHs on. I think this is supposed to look like um, a certain designer brand that has two alphabet letters on it usually. I think it's supposed to look like that. Um, and then there's some yellow sparkle tool, I guess. But these seem to be holding up to me manipulating the ends and stuff. They're not fraying. So if you're actually wanting some fabrics to use in your dollhouse, these actually seem to be doing, I don't know if they did some kind of, it feels like maybe they did some kind of fray something on the edges. The edges feel a little stiffer. So maybe they treated them. So there were several of those all together. You ended up with six fabrics. And these I'm totally turning into either perfume bottles or nail polish bottles. And I think that's all the little bits and pieces that I wanted to share. I just thought this was such a cute thing. And I was looking at the store thinking, oh my gosh, look at all the little craft supplies. I had no idea that he turned around and ordered one. And I almost feel a little wasteful since I have no interest in the doll itself. But, oh my goodness, I just saw her earrings. How cute is that? I will tell you though, if you've got any friends that are like a, um, a Dallas Cowboys fan, she almost kind of reminds me of like a Cowboys doll. I don't know why. I guess maybe I'm in Texas and um, that's just the point of view here, but... She kind of reminds me of, I mean, oh, look at her makeup. That is fabulous. And see, I don't even get into dolls, but she's pretty cute. I absolutely love the way she's built, though. I got to be honest with you guys. I love the way she's built in comparison to a lot of dolls and, and whatever. Because they put some hips on this girl. Like, she's... She's built a lot like me, other than she's a little petite at top, but I actually can relate to it. Other than my head, I don't think is this large for my frame, but it could be. But these little earrings, I don't know if you guys, I, some of you guys might remember once upon a day doing this thing with the paper or the safety pins and adding the beads and stuff to it. That's just a funny flashback there. And I got to be kind of curious about her boots here. Do they come off? How do these dolls work? Does it like their whole foot come off? Are these stuck forever? She's just stuck in these uncomfortable boots forever. I don't know how she's crafting in those. I'm sorry. I am not crafting in boots like that. Oh, oh, they split. Okay. I see. Never mind. They split. I was going to say, bless her heart. Like, they didn't, they didn't put any pajamas in here. Maybe that's what the fabric is for. So you could make her some pajamas to craft in. Because I don't know anybody that crafts in... The equivalent of four inch heels. She is fabulous though. I kind of want this skirt. My son. Um, the one with autism. That got me started into miniatures to begin with. He saw her. And he was like she's so cute. Mom you could wear that outfit. I'm like huh. I think I'm a little, little old. And he's like no. But denim is so nice on you. So I don't know what that says. That denim is so nice on me. But I do kind of want to take her skirt. And considering I'm not all that much taller than her. I could almost get away with it. I'm just kidding. But I did want to share her. Because she does deserve her props. She's a pretty cute doll. Her hair. I, I don't know what to say about her hair though. It's pretty crunchy. I don't know if it's supposed to eventually unwind. But um, I'm pretty sure... There is a sweet little girl right next door to me that is just now at the age of playing with dolls. So I'm pretty sure she's going to get a brand new Cowboys doll is what I'm going to tell her that this is. Super, super cute, guys. I just had to share it. Y'all don't have to watch it. I just was super excited to get all the little craft things um, and the little desk. And gosh, I really hope I can find a way to make this desk work. But overall, I'm going to... Um, lay everything out and give you one last glance about what all was in this. It says 40 pieces on the box, so you can see all 40 pieces at once. 
Okay, so this is everything kind of laid out the best I could so you could see it from this angle. I did figure out that is her stand. Um, there was another piece still stuck to one of the walls. Uh, but she does have the cute little stand for herself. And a fashionable sparkly little comb for her hair. And that's everything. I'm in love with this kit. Totally cute. By the time you bought a lot of these miniature separate at somewhere like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, or whatever, even if they had some of these options, which they do, um, I did try to get some of the little miniature paints from Hobby Lobby, I believe, but it would end up costing you when you start looking at buying the little individual scissors or the little bit um, the little paint tubes. Some of you can make some of these things. I don't have a printer that I can use very well for doing labels on things like my own paints and what have you. So this is a really cute way for me to get a little more realism with at least some of my craft supplies. It's a totally cute set. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to play with it a little more. Y'all are going to see this cup somewhere. I suspect, I think... My little friend Manny is probably going to end up with this cup um, just for fun. And I still am so tickled that you can literally see the slit in it for sipping. That's so funny to me. So that's everything. I love it. I can't wait to start getting some of these things in their place. And I'll share pictures of that later uh, on my page or in the group. And you can see what I did with a lot of the different pieces. And if I... If I alter any of these and find a suitable way to alter them for the slighter, slight smaller scale, I'll definitely try to share that as well because I feel like this could be super cute somewhere. It's, it's just a little more on the tall. Eh, I don't know. I would need a step stool just to get into a bar stool this tall. That's all I got for you. I hope you like hanging out playing with these miniature toys. This is a really great collection. I did not even realize how much I would love this. And now that I've got it out and I've looked at the pieces, I cannot wait to go put them in their places.